I have more of your top stories now in the morning rush. A provision in a police accountability law that Colorado lawmakers passed over the summer doesn't apply to all officers. Under the Enhanced Law Enforcement Integrity Bill, local police can be held personally liable if they get sued for excessive force. But other officers on the state level, like state troopers and corrections officers, are exempt. Lawmakers worried that a bill that covered all police would put state agencies at greater risk for lawsuits. 16 and 17 year old accused of killing two other teenagers outside of Walmart in Lakewood last week. Police say they shot and killed two brothers, 17 year old Dylan and 18 year old Damian Wickoff. They, uh, we are told that this was not a random shooting. You have one week to renew your car registration if it is expired in Denver. The city says it will resume enforcement of license plate and vehicle registration tags the Tuesday after Labor Day. Denver will also go back to booting cars and enforcing school bus loading zones that day. That was all suspended in March because of the pandemic. The Colorado Avalanche kept their Stanley Cup hopes alive with a big Game 5 win over the Dallas Stars last night. Denver came out so strong, it was just the opposite of what happened Sunday. Pierre Edward Belmar had the first goal of the game to get the Avs on the board early. Four more in the first period. They'd be up 5 nothing before I went to bed. The Stars answered with a few goals of their own, but it was too late. The Avs take the win 6-3, forcing a game six. They have to win again tomorrow. They haven't set a time yet if they want to push to a game seven. You know, that's what the Nuggets did, and now they are gearing up for their do or die game seven tonight against the Utah Jazz. Game time 6.30 in the bubble. That is your morning rush.